Hello there friends, I hope that you're doing well. So in this video I'm going to talk about uh, how to set up your Razer Naga V2 Hyperspeed. So once you get the mouse, you connect it to your PC. What you need to do is to download and install Razer Synapse 4. You just Google it and you just uh, install it and then you launch it it will create this icon in uh, this sys drive and you can launch it from here and you will see this interface now if you connect the mouse while uh, synapse 4 is running it will start to auto detect it in most cases it will also make an update and you will see the mouse here as a new tab if for some reason you don't see it, you will uh, see it here on devices and when you click it will create this tab and from here you can just uh, set up the mouse. So the Razer Naga V2 Hyperspeed has uh, four tabs, customized performance, power and uh, calibration. And uh, I'm going to talk a bit about each tab customize from here you can uh, reassign the, the keys for example uh, in my case I've changed the function of these two buttons from the left side so if for some reason uh, you find out that uh, you're clicking them by mistake and it's just changing the DPI you can just uh, change them to mouse function left click and uh, you'll get rid of this issue also if you want to change the the side buttons by default uh, each button is assigned to a number from 1 to 12 in my case 8 I've assigned it to scroll click so instead of uh, clicking on the So instead of clicking on the scroll wheel, I'm just clicking on 5. As you noticed from my video, if for some reason the interface disappears, you can just uh, close it. And then if you click from here, it will re reappear again. Also, if you hover on the tab, it will display the, the battery in my case is a hundred percent I've just uh, replaced it okay so this is uh, what you can do from uh, the tab customize from performance you can uh, change the DPI so these are pretty much the standard uh, settings pulling rate to 1000 and DPI 1000 and day 100 this uh, seems to work uh, very well for just uh, normal use power uh, if you want to to change when the mouse should uh, enter sleep mode i think these are the default settings and calibration normally these are also the the standard settings but uh, in most cases you don't need to to do any kind of calibration so this mouse this is the the standard one it's not the pro version so it doesn't have any rgb lights so in this case is it doesn't have like a tab for lightning as i have here on uh, another razer mouse so uh, you can't change any any lights the only light is this uh, green uh, small light that appears usually when you connect the mouse to your computer or you just start your computer it just uh, means that uh, the mouse is uh, paired to the to your computer so other than that you can also create uh, macros however this is uh, separated uh, from the mouse it's not related you can create any kind of macro and uh, from there you can just uh, assign in this case uh, 
I have like uh, four macros in this case so I've assigned a macro on 10 and 11 to just uh, move the window so when I click on 10 it will move the window on the on the left on another monitor 11 uh, back again on uh, the main monitor so this is uh, pretty much what you can do with uh, the Razer Naga V2 Hyperspeed if for some reason uh, the mouse is not detected uh, from this program you can try to plug the the USB adapter to another USB port change it from USB 2 to USB 3 and the other way around if it still doesn't work you can uh, probably install the the Razer Synapse 4 on another computer and plug the mouse there see if it gets recognized you need to have your windows updated in my case uh, it seems that it still works with Windows 10 and also you can in some cases just uh, reinstall Synapse 4 maybe you're uh, missing some kind of update and that's the reason why the mouse is not getting detected here however even uh, if it doesn't get detected uh, by default the DPI is uh, 1800 and from customize if you're uh, not using anything from here it's not a big deal that uh, it doesn't appear uh, and you can customize this but uh, probably in most cases you will want to to see it here so this is how you can uh, uh, get the mouse to appear here in most cases uh, there are no issues the mouse will appear and you'll be able to to customize it so overall uh, this is how you can uh, customize the Razer Naga V2 Hyperspeed with the Razer program uh, Synapse 4 I already made the video with uh, my review on the mouse if you want to to check that uh, you can also do it if you have any questions leave in the comments and thank you for watching